What's up, what's going on gamers of YouTube? It's your boy, the Universal Gamer, coming at you guys with another gaming vlog. So inside this gaming vlog, I'll be talking to you guys about the games I'm gonna be picking up soon, some games I got on pre-order or Amazon.com, stuff like that, and just some, you know, some stuff I've been on, and just random, you know, game talk. You know, that's what these game vlogs gonna be about, just talking randomly about the gaming world, and just me catching back up to speed, you know, just with you guys, with, you know, sharing back and forth conversation with the gaming. So with February in full effect, you already know what game that's coming out soon that your boy gotta pick up. If you don't know, it comes out on the 6th. If you still don't know, that's that Shadow of the Colossus revamp. Not remastered, it's rebuilt from the ground up, you know what I'm saying? And, pff, bruh, man, I can't wait. Playing that bad boy on a 100 inch screen on a projector? Pff, especially if I had a 4K one, man. So, you know, with me being a fan of the game, you know, I had to get the collector's edition. You know, I got the game. I got the original PS2 game. I'm looking at the video clip right there. You know, original PS2 game. I got the PS3, you know, HD remaster. Now, you know, I got to get the PS4. PS4. And man, I've been saying how that bad boy looked. Just looking, watching it on YouTube, on the projector, just looks amazing. So just, I can't even imagine just... And then I, gotta, I still got to get a different bulb, though. Because the one I replaced my old bulb with... It's not quite right. What I'm planning on doing is doing like my little gameplays and just playing through the whole game, just on camera, giving my live reaction. But at the same time, that's one of those games where you just want to be inside your headphones by yourself in front of the screen and just zone out. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, next game. I'm pretty sure y'all can guess the next game without me even saying it. You know what I'm saying? Like I ain't. It's no brainer. God of War. What edition? Collector's edition. Come on now. Like I said, show the, show the clip again. Got all the God of War games on the PS2. Then got the PS3 HD. You know, so I gotta get the collector's edition. Speaking of collector's edition, this motherfucker right, man. This right here is the first game I've ever picked up that, I've, that I wasn't able to play. For some reason, it was difficult to run that game, and then they went in and you know patched some stuff, added some little you know tweaks where you can you know customize the different graphical settings, the Metro graphics card. That still didn't work for me and a lot of other people, and it just was unplayable, man. Getting going from 20 frames per second to 15, and going up to 30, and then dropping down to it's like the game isn't even demanding. So it's like they're trying to make all these excuses. It's just you guys built the game wrong, you optimized it wrong, period. But I do plan on getting it on the PS4, you know, just play it on the PS4, call it a day. But yeah, that new God of War is looking amazing, dude. I like how they changed the camera angle, bring it in more tight so it can feel like you're more inside the action. Because before they even mentioned that, when I was watching the gameplay, I knew it was something that was kind of different. I was looking like something's kind of, you know, off, like not off, but, you know, it's they bring that, they bring it in more tighter. Camera is like more, you know, it's down. It's not like up. And you know, so that's cool. So when you find those creatures and stuff, you can appreciate, you know, the, the action more. I know some God of War fans probably don't like it. Let me know if you guys didn't like the little switch of the camera angle. Me, I mean, it's a welcome to me. I'm kind of feeling like I'm not gonna really like the story. I kind of feel like they kind of threw a little something together. I kind of felt like they could have went a different type of route because like, I don't know. I don't know how they are gonna bring everything in, but you know, they've been doing a good job up until this point, so. Was planning on getting Dragon Ball Z Fighters as well, but not really sure if I want to get that right now. Wasn't I never really been a huge Dragon Ball Z fan. I watched, you know, I was the type that watched the cartoon here and there. But nonetheless, the game is looking amazing, just like the cartoon. And you know, I think that man, I, I got some coworkers that been playing it, and they've been having a blast with it. So you know, I'm gonna have to hop on that bad boy. Planning on the projector, man. I'm telling you, the projector, it makes every single thing that much better. It's like, it's like, oh, play it on this or. Playing on a projector, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Finally got, got to plan the um, Uncharted Collection, HD Remastered Collection or whatever. And I prefer playing that on the, on the uh, you know, LED TV versus a projector. It's just on that TV, it looks way more crisp and just you appreciate all the little extra details that's inside there due to the HD re revamp and, you know, 1080p popped on that bad boy. But games like The Witcher 3, <sighs> bruh. Let me, oh my god, games like um, Far Cry 3, uh, Far Cry 4, I played on there too. I was, let, let me let me tell you, let's go back to Shadow, Shadow of the, ah, oh, can't talk. Let's go back to Shadow of the Colossus. You know what I'm saying? Let's go back to that game for a second. That game, I was playing that on the PS3 like about, what, seven months ago, six months ago, but I was blown away, you know, just playing it on the PS3. So, 
man, any game where it's like like Monster Hunter and stuff like that on the projector. I've been playing on the projector. Haven't been having that much time to play it, to be honest. Between working and then coming home, going straight to filming now because I'm trying to catch up to, you know, being back on my gaming videos more often, getting on my film stuff, more film vlogs, and then, you know, got a new relationship now, right? You know, it's like everything busy at once, a lot of stuff at once, but your boy can handle it. I'm making it do what he do. Man, there's a lot of games coming out this year. So many good games coming out. So I'm gonna make another video, gaming vlog, of my top five anticipated games for 2018. You know what I'm saying? Like the top five games I must have, no matter what. No matter if I'm on my last leg. It's like, <laughs> out of all the games that's coming out, top five that I must have. Not counting the games I'm about to get like soon, like, you know, God of War and uh, Shadow of the Colossus and stuff like, not counting those two, but games after that. And then I wanna see you guys top five too, down at the bottom. You know what I'm saying? Let me know what you guys really gotta get on this year, especially everybody crossing over to PS4. People's crossing over now, like you don't see that much beefing, cause now gamers starting to realize like, hey, let's all just, fuck it, enjoy the damn games. Like what the, what's the point in holding on to one console and just saying, you know, like that's dumb. Like I always played everything, hence the name Universal Gamer. So it's like whatever game I like, I don't give a damn what it's on. Like I'm gonna play the shit, like simple. Like I got motherfucking Gears of War right next to Horizon Zero Dawn. Like it's like, come on. Mario ass over there posted and stuff, you know, ain't no shame. You guys know, see the Comic-Con badges and stuff like that. I go to Comic-Con every year, work there as staff and I get these volunteer uh, shirts. And I was planning on wearing these, you know what I'm saying? On my videos, start wearing these bad boys. But you know what? These motherfuckers might end up being worth some money. So I don't know about all that. I don't know, bruh. I do not know. My friend, me do not know. You know what I'm saying? But I don't like nah. Because, you know, these days, you never know. Oh yeah, and then to go back to Uncharted, I'm looking at my Amazon shopping list. You know, just stuff I've been placing inside my shopping cart at times. And you know that Uncharted uh, Lost Legacy, let me know how that was. You know, I haven't had a chance to play it yet. Um, it's only 35 bucks right now, or you can get it used for $20. But you know, up until now, I played every Uncharted game, you know, from you know Uncharted 1 when everybody was sleeping on it. I mean, me and my son made the little rap and everything to it, music video and everything, which was underrated. But you know, we still did our thing. But one of the main, main games that everybody with a PlayStation already know they should be looking forward to. Not sure if it's coming out this year or what's gonna go on, but The Last of Us 2, if that game isn't on your agenda, are you not really feeling that game? Then I'm gonna go to the store right now, go buy your ass an alarm clock so you can wake the fuck up. It's been your boy, The Universal Gamer. Thank you guys for watching this gaming vlog. Um, about to go ahead and try and get on some Monster Hunter for a couple of hours before I have to get up out of here and catch you guys on the next video. Peace.